Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to DIY Tuesday. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, for those of you who were at convention with us, you know that we did a promotion where you would get a free keychain or a free necklace with any purchase. I think it was actually just if you came in. So we're going to teach you some really cool ways to kind of transform that jewelry because sometimes the chain isn't so cute. Let me just show you really quickly. They come in this really cute purple bag. Um, and when you pull it out, that has, it's on a metal chain. And so one side is a, the doTERRA logo and the other side is the oil life logo. So you have both of them on there. But sometimes this chain gets a little bit boring. So we're gonna teach you some really cool tricks on how to make this into something else. So today we're gonna to be talking about these cute little bracelets. So these are kind of like an Alex and Annie type wrap style bracelet. They're really cute for any kind of stacking that you wanna do. Um, and we're gonna talk about some ideas for what else to do with this later on. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. But first of all, I just wanna let you guys know that today, only we are having a sale on those necklaces and they are 50% off. So they're actually only 60 cents per necklace, which is an amazing deal. And it means that you can get some great necklaces and turn them into whatever you want to for a really low price. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And what we're going to do is I already have some craft store wire here. And what we're going to do is we are going to, um, just cut probably, I haven't actually measured it out as how much we need, but we're going to say probably about this much, so a wrap and a half's worth. Um, and this is just, um, I think it's a medium grade wire that you can find at any convenience store. And these are, I mean, it's a pretty bendable wire. You can get a stiffer one if you want. Um, but this totally will work. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is there's a little bit of a lip here um, on this side. I'm gonna get rid of that so you can see better. There's a little bit of a lip and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off so it makes it a little easier to bend this wire. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is before I do anything else with this, I am going to take this Oil Life necklace and we're gonna say bye-bye to the chain. Um, I like cutting it kind of close to the top so that you can still salvage it and use it if you want to. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to clip right here because if you try to take the pendant off normally, it does get stuck right here at the end and it won't come off all the way because of these little loops here. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip this right here. And that will help us get that little pendant off. Now, these are really fun because they are pretty heavy duty, like they're pretty good solid metal. Um, but they are still like they're going to hold their value and they're not going to, you know, tarnish or do anything like that. So they're super awesome. So what we're going to do with this is we are going to just put it down for a second here. And now we are going to take our wire again. And what you're going to want to do is bend maybe, I don't know that much. I don't know what size necessarily this is, um, but you're gonna go ahead and bend this. Now, the reason you're gonna do that is because you wanna create this kind of bendy shape that we have here, where it kind of bends down and then hooks onto the wire, it, onto itself again. So we're gonna do that on either side of this necklace. And, I mean, the bracelet, I'm so sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Perfect. So now that we have this, um, I would recommend maybe sliding this on just before you clasp it together because it makes it a little bit easier. If you want to as well, you can always um, take this little part off here, this little metal circle um, that is here. You can take that off and then um, you can put it back on. It just makes it a little bit harder. So I would just recommend keeping it on here and just putting it on at the beginning. So now what we're gonna do um, is we are going to bend this and it does take a little bit of patience because you have to make sure that it's a really good sized loop and don't close it off all the way. So we are just working our way here and you may be able to even cut a little bit off. Like I can cut a bit off 
um, here. I think what I'm going to do is stretch it out a little bit more. It does take a little bit of muscle because it is such a small space and the wire is pretty stiff. So what you're going to want to do now that you have this cute little loop here is you're just going to want to hook it onto the wire and, oh, I did it too tight the first time. So I managed to get it on, but make sure it's a little bit looser than that. And then you're just going to want to pinch it at the top to kind of make sure it stays on there. And you're going to do the same thing again on the other side. So, um, and then of course these are super adjustable and they're awesome. So you can adjust it to any size and they really make great gifts for anyone. And uh, this is a super good gift idea for anybody on your downline or anybody that you just want to say thanks to or just give a little something to because they are pretty low cost. I think we got this wire. We got about a hundred, I think it, maybe it's like 10 feet of wire for about three bucks. So like I said, it's at any craft store. You can find it and these are super cute in the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this around again and then I'm going to attach it here and okay perfect. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we are going to pinch it shut. If I can make my hands steady. Wow they're shaking so much right now. Perfect. So what you have here now is a super adorable bracelet. You can always change the size of course with the little bendy um, adjustable sides here, but check that out you guys that is so cute. It has oil life and doTERRA on it and these are super easy to make. Now we have a couple of suggestions for you if you want to turn this into kind of more of a project. So what you can do is you can actually take um, lava beads or any sort of wood bead that would act as kind of um, a holder for any oil and you can also you can slide those on before you take before you bend the clasps so when you put this um, part on you can also put on those beads and it will kind of act as a diffuser bracelet so you kind of get the benefit of of course you know um, showing off your favorite oil company and you also get to have those benefits of aromatherapy while you're doing that so this is what it looks like in the end. They are so adorable. They fit on anybody. Um, this is the one we made earlier. It is a little bit nicer just because we had a little bit more time to do it. Um, but they're so fun, you guys, and go ahead and check them out. We will be including a link to the actual necklace itself. Um, this is what it looks like for those of you who didn't get to see the beginning. It says it has the doTERRA logo on the front side and then oil life on the back. So we will be including a link to these necklaces um, in the product description. And we are doing a sale today for 50% off. So they are 50 cents a pop which is a great deal. So go ahead and check that out. We will be including that in our newsletter as well. So make sure you're watching out for that tomorrow morning. And thank you so much for joining us and we will see you on Friday.